Hello my amazing grade 1 students and welcome back to the lesson. Today we are going to continue with our unit of inquiry for this month. We are going to talk about my community as we all know. This video is to explain everything that we are going to study in week 2 in this unit of inquiry. To begin with, I let me remind you of my neighborhood. What is my neighborhood? Mm -hmm. I guess you remember that we know that our neighborhood is the place where people live, work, play, and solve problems. So if we all live, work, and play in the same place, then we belong to the same neighborhood, right? But does my neighborhood include all of the places which are the same or there are different places in my neighborhood? Of course, you can tell that there are a lot of places in my neighborhood. So if I, if I am staying at home and I want to leave to do something, to get something, I need to go to the places around in my neighborhood. But what are different places in my neighborhood? Let's get introduced to these places. And I'm sure, guys, that you all observe these places around and you all know them, right? So in my neighborhood, I might f find a circus or a play area, as we can see. I can find a post office. I can find a villa of my friend. I can find an, uh, an airport. I can find a gym if I want to, to go and play some sports. There is the office buildings around. There is a mosque or church where, where I can go and pray. There is a bakery. There is a supermarket. There is a cafe. There is a hospital. There are many places around in my neighborhood. And all of these places are there for me to do the things that I need in my daily life. Right? So, these places provide goods and services, which is a separate lesson that we will talk about later on. Now, what are my roles at home, school, and neighborhood? You all know that we have roles at our school. We have a school principal who is in charge for all of the, deci the decisions made in my school, right? There is also a school nurse where I go to her office when I feel, or clinic, when I feel sick or if I need any medicine, right? There is also the janitor in my school, which plays a very important role in keeping my school clean and tidy, excellent. There are also classroom rules for me and my classmates in our classroom. There are bookkeepers, there are, there are line guards, there are teachers helpers, there are librarians, there are timers, and there are monitors, which are everyone in our classroom because we always monitor everything that is happening there. So we also have rules in our classroom. Our teacher also has a role of teaching us, right? So these are the roles of different people in my school. Are there roles of people in my house? Of course. I always see my mom cleaning. I always see my mom washing the clothes or cleaning dishes after lunch. So, so my mom has a lot of roles in my house, right? My dad has the role of going to work and sometimes he can help me with my homework. This is his role, right? This is a different role of people in my family. We also have roles. We can help our daddy or our mom cleaning their car, right? We can help our mom in cooking something in the kitchen. So we do have rules as well in our house. Most importantly, we have different people in our community which have different rules, right? There is a nurse in my community. There is a firefighter. There is a vet. There is a carpenter. There is a, a male officer. There is a hair salon styler. And there is a chef. These people also are available in my community to do different roles which will make everyone happy in my neighborhood. Excellent.